Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. Make sure you follow me on Rumble. My time on YouTube is, is not long for this world. I'll never be monetized again, and I wouldn't be surprised if a ban was right around the corner. So definitely follow me on Rumble at Third Railify, because what else would I be called? And on X. Twitter at the Railify. So, this story, this story is um, a not Donald Trump story. There's a lot going on, but Donald Trump is the news black hole right now. Uh, everything is every. That story is such an ongoing mystery, and it's getting weirder and weirder. So everyone wants to talk about that. And if you're like me, you're getting a little burnt out. So I'm going to try and talk about some other things. Hopefully, you guys will appreciate that. So this is the story of Bob Menendez. New Jersey Democrat Senator Bob Men Menendez, to be specific. Well, he has been found guilty, very guilty, of bribery in a massive corruption plot. Now, he's, heh, he's still a sitting senator. It's really funny that uh, heh, the, the Republicans, and this is why Republicans always lose, the Republicans, they kicked out Santos out of the House. There was no reason. Santos was hilarious. A little flamboyant, but he was hilarious. Was he maybe a little dishonest? Perhaps. It's possible. Maybe he lied about some stuff. We don't know because the investigation wasn't actually done, but Republicans were like, yeet. They yeeted him right out of there. With no trial, no impeachment, no conviction, no nothing. They just kicked his ass to the curb. Meanwhile, the Democrats had Bob Menendez. Super duper, absolutely corrupt. And well, now, I suspect He's going to lose his spots. Maybe he'll have to be impeached. I don't know how it works. But, you know, New Jersey's got a uh, senator seat opening up very soon. So New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez has been found guilty of conspiracy to commit bribery in a widespread corruption plot. Remember, this guy, he was the one that had gold bars and money. He was accused of participating in a years-long foreign corruption scheme that earned him gold bars, cash, and a new car. The longtime lawmaker sat for over eight weeks in a New York federal courtroom as witnesses and prosecutors reveal the scintillating details of his alleged plot to reward multiple New Jersey businessmen with favors in exchange for payment. That's what the prosecutors allege. The jury deliberated over three days before reaching a verdict. I suspect there was probably a lot to go over, and that's why it took three days. On Tuesday, they found Menendez guilty on all 16 counts against him, including acting as a foreign agent. That goes against FARA, the FARA Act. He faces up to 222 years in prison for his crimes. And as you can see in the photo here, he's already as old as Father Time. He's as old as dirt. So I don't think he's going to get the full time. Probably a slap on the wrist, maybe house arrest, if that. So Menendez. He used his high-profile position as the former Senate Foreign Relations Committee chairman to help one man negotiate a contract with Egyptian officials, prosecutors explained at trial. Now, this is incredibly corrupt. Like, it's bad news corrupt. It's like kingpin. He's like the kingpin of New Jersey, as it were. And he used his influence as the New Jersey uh, senior senator to quash a state investigation into another accomplice's state insurance fraud case, prosecutor said. So he's wheeling and he's dealing and everyone's giving him cash. 
shoes full of cash. Here's some gold bars. Here's a Mercedes. Make these problems go away. Very quid pro quo. Menendez's defense, meanwhile, and it is a hilarious defense. It was that the Democrat had a fear of going without and his Cuban heritage as the reason he stored gold and hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash at home because he's Cuban and he's scared of of not having money so he's going to keep it all in cash. I mean, that kind of example maybe works when when your when your when your elderly grandmother or great grandmother will make a tea and then they'll take the tea bag out and they'll put it on like a little dish or whatever and then when, later in the day when they have another tea they will use that tea bag again and again and again and then you say grandma what are you doing at this point there's no tea left in that tea bag and it's because they're afraid of going without they want to have what they use it sparingly because they grew up in the depression. This guy's saying, Well, I'm I have Cuban heritage. I need I need to store my gold bars. That just doesn't make sense to me. So the New Jersey Democrat and his wife had been under investigation allegedly accepting bribes of cash gold and a luxury car over the last five years to carry out favors for three businessmen who were also charged in the case. So in June 2022, the FBI raided the senator's home, uncovering the fruits of his corrupt labors. And I remember this. I remember this well. And everyone was like, or the Democrats were like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. He needs a trial first. We, we can't, we can't possibly condemn him we don't know the facts and everyone everyone else who has the brains like um he's got gold bars just laying about in his bedroom that's weird they claimed that the 13 gold bars nearly half a million dollars in cash and the convertible mercedes-benz found during the search were all bribery payment to menendez and his wife nadine his, his wife is very uh curvy upstairs I'm just saying the menendez is the pleaded not guilty to the corruption scheme. Nadine Menendez will be tried in a separate trial due to her recent breast cancer diagnosis. Two of the New Jersey businessmen indicted alongside the Menendez's, Will Hanna, a halal meat mogul. Now, I didn't know that was a thing. A halal meat mogul. I guess that's different from a regular meat mogul. And Fred Dibes, a real estate developer, and they also pleaded not guilty. Jose Irby, a former insurance broker, did, however, plead guilty. And he testified against them. He said, yes, I did it. I bribed them. I needed stuff done, so I bribed them. They said, oh, buy a car, so I bought this bitch a Mercedes. That's how that happened. I agreed with Nadine Menendez and other people to provide a car for Nadine in order to get the power and influence of Mr. Menendez. See, that's what he testified to. He got her a convertible Mercedes-Benz for helping him kill investigations into several of his associates by the New Jersey Attorney General's office. As it would turn out, though, both prosecutors and Menendez attorneys Nadine was central to the case's alleged bribery arrangements, often acting as a go-between for her husband and his criminal associates. Now, I will say, if you're going to get a wife, make sure you will get a wife that will be the Bonnie to your Clyde. One of them ride or dies. I mean, that's one thing we can look at this and appreciate. We can admire that, you know, she was the Bonnie to his Clyde. Although maybe, maybe don't do crime. <laughs> don't do crime. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. After a jury ruled a mistrial in a previous federal corruption trial in 2017, because this isn't the first time Menendez has been corrupt, 
He's been corrupt all along. They tried to get him one time. They were unsuccessful. Um, well, this time, much more successful. So after 2017, Menendez, who has held his seat as a New Jersey senator since 2006, was ready to make himself anew. He was like, you know what? It was a mistrial in 2017. I don't need to be a bad guy. I don't need to be a villain anymore. I'm going to turn a new leaf. This has been a wake-up call. I don't want to lose my seat. I don't want to go to jail. I shall be a new man. However, a woman came into his life. That's right. Part of that makeover involved a thrilling new relationship with Nadine Arslanian. In 2018, Nadine, a tall, striking blonde Lebanese-American woman, 13 years his junior, and she was also divorced. She separated from a real estate mogul, Rafi Arslanian, in 2005 after getting together in 1989 and having two children. And that's reported by USA Today. The divorce left her with debt and little money. So it's interesting how a woman who has a lot of debts and has no money and, you know, what seems like no prospects, no real prospects, um, ended up with a New Jersey senator. I mean, what was she doing to that New Jersey senator? I mean, I suspect with what, what little money she had left, she probably bought knee pads. But... Her luck turned around when she began dating the wealthy and powerful Menendez in February 2018. Oh, how lucky. How lucky for her. Nadine introduced her future husband to Will Hanna, the um, halal meat mogul, <laughs> and quickly coordinated dozens of meetings between the two. And their Mercedes is such a mid Mercedes. What is that? A, a, is that a C class? It's, it's so mid. Hannah, a halal meat mogul, <laughs> uh, was well connected with Egyptian officials, and Menendez's role as chairman of the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee was surely a helpful connection to have, prosecutors said. By the summer of 2018, Adine and Hannah had coordinated meetings with the senator and, Egypt and Egyptian officials at the Democrat D.C. Senate office and elsewhere. So all meetings that should absolutely not be happening because, you know, he's acting as a foreign agent. He's acting on behalf of Egypt. Of course, this violates the FARA Act. In May, Menendez requested State Department information on the U.S. Embassy in Cairo and then passed that along to Egyptian military officials. But his lawyers pushed back on this arguing that the information was already public. Hmm, interesting. Later in July, the senator met again with Egyptian military officials who wanted a $100 million deal for tank munitions. After the meeting, which was coordinated by Nadine, Menendez texted her, Tell Will I am going to sign off on this sale to Egypt today. Nadine sent the message to Hannah, who later sent it to Egyptian officials, who gave it a thumbs-up response. Thumbs-up emojis, all right. Nothing like clandestine negotiations that are highly illegal. A thumbs-up emoji. The couple kept close tabs on each other, tracking one another using their iPhones. I mean, I mean, that's fine. My, I, my wife and I keep tabs on, on each other. That's not weird. It's not weird. Uh, it's, I'm telling you now, it's not weird. At times, Menendez would text Nadine if her tracker went dark. I lost you, Menendez once texted Nadine. See, they probably did that because they were doing, like, shady business. You know. Oh, I can't find you. I can't see you on my phone. The Egyptians must have gotten you. That kind of thing. Prosecutors argued the tracking helped reassure the Democrat that his go-between was executing on his illicit deals, while the senator's defense said Nadine's ex poses a threat to her and Menendez was instead concerned about him. The Lebanon-born 57-year-old at times caused too much drama 
as a Lebanon-born 57-year-old would. According to Menendez's lawyers, she has been known to party and socialize with cast members of Mob Wives and the Real Housewives of New Jersey. In December 2018, Nadine got into a car crash, leading to the death of a 49-year-old Richard Coop. After the crash, she needed a new car because the couple could not free up cash quickly to buy her a new one, so they turned to get some help. Are you telling me all those gold bars couldn't be used to... Like, they had millions of dollars in, in stuffed in the shoes. Like, look at this. There's a shoe, and it's got a bunch of money in it. Hannah and former insurance executive Ho Jose Irby had an answer. I remember saying to her, if your problem is a car... My problem is saving my family, Irby said during the trial. He went on to tell a jury how he handed Nadine $15,000 in cash at a restaurant parking lot. Irby added that he financed Nadine's new Mercedes-Benz C3000 convertible for years. Oh, he financed the thing. And I told you it was a, a C-class. I told you. In return, the former insurance broker asked that Menendez quash investigations by the new Jersey Attorney General into his friends. Irby recounted the meeting at the senator's home and discussing the investigation when Menendez rang a bell to summon Nadine. That would be fantastic to have a, a button push a button and then your wife comes in the room that'd be fanta <laughs> fantastic after hearing the chime she came out with papers Menendez then wrote down the names Irbe told him met with the New Jersey Attorney General the next day later in 2019 the Menendez went out for dinner at Morton's Steakhouse in Washington D.C. with Hannah and the Egyptian officials Unbeknownst to the couple, businessmen or officials, an FBI agent was at an adjacent table monitoring the entire meeting. Probably the only thing the FBI did that wasn't doing crime. The Fed surrection, the Fed napping hoax, the, all the other FBI crime. What else can the love of my life do for you, Nadine asked the men at the table. The agent later testified. Oh my goodness. Days later, Menendez called a Department of Agriculture official to urge them to rethink an export contract that would benefit Hannah. Time went on. Nadine and the senator's relationship progressed, leading to the Democrat proposing to the blonde divorcee outside the Taj Mahal in India. The two wed in 2020, embroiling... Nadine in more of the senator's affairs. Oh my goodness. So following the guilty verdict, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York called on Menendez to now do what's right to his constituents, the Senate and our country, and resign. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy also called on the lawmaker to resign. And if he doesn't, for Congress to kick him out. So Congress will have to impeach, because I think that's how it goes. You impeach in the Congress and convict in the Senate. I reiterate my call for Senator Menendez to resign immediately after being found guilty of endangering national security and the integrity of our criminal, of our criminal justice system. He refuses to vacate his office. I call on the U.S. Senate to vote to expel. But exiting the courthouse in New York Tuesday afternoon, Menendez said the bribery saga is not over just yet. I have never violated my public oath, he told reporters. He then pledged to appeal his guilty verdict. Menendez's sentencing will take place a week before the election on October 29th. Oh my goodness, he is going to drag this out to the absolute bitter end.
I wonder how far up the appeal chain he can go. Because for there to be an appeal, there needs to be an appealable issue. Maybe the judge did something wrong, or maybe um, the prosecution did something wrong. On a perfect case, if, if the law was perfectly fine, if the judge was good and there's nothing appealable, it's just going to get kicked down. That's going to be it. Anyways, hopefully that happens. He seems like a bad dude. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed your, your non-Trump related news. And thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Rumble. That's at the rail fire at, at, at Rumble and uh, and on X. I mean, on YouTube, I guess, but mostly on, on Rumble. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Peace. Peace.